Hey there, movie buffs and nostalgia seekers. Remember those days when you curled up on the couch with a bowl of popcorn and your trusty remote diving into the world of classic cinema? Ah, the magic of movies from yesteryears. Now, let me jog your memory a bit back in the days. Did you ever catch the 1955 film To Hell and Back? Oh, what a journey it was. It's like a time capsule to the golden age of Hollywood, a flick that had us all on the edge of our seats. Come on, let's take a little trip down memory lane together. What were your favorite moments from this iconic movie? Did Audie Murphy's incredible real-life story as the most decorated combat soldier of World War II leave you awestruck? Or perhaps it was the heart-pounding action sequences that had you glued to the screen. And let's not forget those unforgettable characters. Who was your absolute favorite, the one you couldn't help but root for throughout the film? Share your cherished memories and experiences of watching to hell and back, whether it's the first time you saw it or a memorable family movie night. Let's celebrate the timeless charm of this classic together. Now, let's dive into some fascinating random facts about this gem of a film. Get ready for some intriguing tidbits that will make you appreciate to hell and back even more. Stay tuned, movie lovers. In the 1955 movie To Hell and Back, one of the standout combat sequences took place during an assault on a German position inside an abandoned Italian farmhouse. In this intense scene, two German soldiers were depicted manning an MG-42 machine gun, unleashing a barrage of bullets on the attacking American forces. However, during the initial takes using blank ammunition, the gunfire lacked the realism filmmakers desired. To overcome this issue, they decided to film two GIs from Fort Lewis, dressed as German troops, firing live ammunition from the machine gun. This unconventional approach was the only way to capture the impressive muzzle flash when the weapon was fired, adding authenticity to the scene. The film's success at the box office was remarkable, making it a significant achievement for Universal Pictures. It held a record for nearly two decades until it was eventually surpassed by the iconic film Jaws in 1975. Furthermore, To Hell and Back played a role in popularizing the term Dogface in popular culture. During World War II, Dogface was a term used to describe U.S. Army combat infantrymen. The movie even featured a song titled Dogface Soldier, further cementing this term in the public consciousness. In summary, To Hell and Back is not only a classic war film, but also a movie that made innovative use of live ammunition to enhance its combat sequences. Its box office success and influence on language and culture make it a noteworthy piece of cinematic history. The 1955 movie To Hell and Back is a war film based on the autobiography of Audie Murphy, one of the most decorated American combat soldiers of World War II. It portrays his experiences during the war, including his heroics and the challenges he faced. One interesting connection to the movie is the track of the same title from the 2014 album Heroes by the Swedish heavy metal group Sabbath. This song is dedicated to Audie Murphy, and its video even includes footage from the film. It's a musical tribute to the remarkable story of Audie Murphy's life and his contributions to the war effort. Audie Murphy's legacy extends beyond the film and music. He was buried with full military honors on June 7, 1971, in Arlington National Cemetery. His grave is one of the most visited in the cemetery, second only to that of John F. Kennedy. This underscores the enduring impact of his service and the recognition he received for his bravery. Regarding the Holtzweher standoff depicted in the movie, it's worth noting that the actual event took place in the winter under harsh conditions, including cold, mud, rain, and snow. However, in the film, it was portrayed as occurring on a warm, bright, sunny day. This creative choice was likely made for practical filming reasons, as accurately recreating those adverse weather conditions would have been challenging if not impossible. In summary, To Hell and Back remains a testament to Audie Murphy's incredible wartime experiences, with connections to modern music, and a lasting legacy in the form of his burial site in Arlington National Cemetery. The film's portrayal of certain events may not be entirely accurate in terms of weather conditions, but it serves as a compelling tribute to a true American hero. In 1955, the film To Hell and Back brought Audie Murphy's extraordinary World War II experiences to the silver screen. Audie Murphy, the most decorated U.S. soldier of the war, faced initial rejection when he tried to enlist in the Navy, Marines, and Army. 
Even after joining a combat unit, some of his superiors doubted his fitness for battle. For the filming of intense battle scenes in the movie, a staggering amount of resources were required. This included 50,000 rounds of ammunition, 300 pounds of TNT, 600 pounds of blasting powder, and 10 cases of 40% dynamite, emphasizing the dedication to authenticity. Interestingly, Audie Murphy originally declined the chance to play himself in the movie. He didn't want to be seen as capitalizing on his war hero status, and suggested his friend Tony Curtis for the role. Murphy and Curtis had previously worked together on several westerns, showing the depth of their friendship. To Hell and Back is not just a war film, it's a testament to Audie Murphy's remarkable journey, and the challenges he faced both on and off the battlefield. In the 1955 movie To Hell and Back, Audie Murphy, a World War II hero, displayed his real-life combat experience when handling a Thompson submachine gun. In the film, when firing the Thompson, Murphy held the sling just under the forward handguard stacking swivel. This technique was likely a reflection of how he had actually handled the Thompson during his wartime experiences. By holding it this way, Murphy could better control the rise of the gun barrel as it fired allowing for more accurate and effective shooting. Furthermore, in the DVD commentary for the 1982 film First Blood, author David Morrill revealed that Audie Murphy served as the inspiration for the iconic character John Rambo. This connection highlights Murphy's enduring influence on action cinema. In the final Rambo film released in 2008, John Rambo takes on hundreds of enemy soldiers with a .50 caliber machine gun mounted on a vehicle, a scenario reminiscent of Audie Murphy's actions into hell and back. Murphy's real-life heroics, as portrayed in the film, clearly left a lasting impact on the action genre. Years after the movie's release, Audie Murphy was asked about the daring sequence into hell and back where he single-handedly held off two German rifle companies and five Panzer tanks while firing a .50 caliber machine gun from atop a burning tank destroyer. In response, Murphy shared, I did, when I glanced down at the map I was using to call in the artillery fire, and noticed it was riddled with holes from the bullets flying all around me. When questioned about why he took such a risky action, Murphy simply stated, they were killing my friends. This statement encapsulates the unwavering bravery and selflessness for which Audie Murphy is renowned. In conclusion, Audie Murphy's authentic portrayal of combat techniques into hell and back, and his enduring influence on characters like John Rambo illustrate the profound impact of his real-life heroism on the world of cinema. In the 1955 movie To Hell and Back, Audie Murphy, a real-life war hero, portrayed himself in a gripping story based on his own experiences during World War II. According to the Variety Movie Guide, Audie Murphy joined the army at just 16 years old in 1942. He served in North Africa, Tunisia, Italy, France, Germany, and Austria with Company B, 15th Infantry Regiment, 3rd Division, 7th Army. During his service, he went from being a private first class to a company commander, earning 24 decorations, including the Medal of Honor. Murphy was wounded three times and personally killed 240 Germans during the war. He was one of only two soldiers left from the original company at the war's end. The film highlights Audie Murphy's remarkable service record, showcasing his participation in seven major campaigns and his receipt of prestigious awards like the Bronze Star, Three Purple Hearts, the Legion of Merit, Two Silver Stars, and a Distinguished Service Cross. France also recognized his valor with the Legion of Honor, Chevalier, and Two Croix de Guerre with Pommy. On August 9, 1945, shortly after his 19th birthday, he was honored with the Medal of Honor, the highest accolade for bravery an American soldier can attain. An interesting tidbit related to the movie is that Audie Murphy's war buddy, Onclo Earhart, was initially slated to play himself in the film. However, he declined the role because the filming schedule coincided with planting season. To Hell and Back stands as a tribute to Audie Murphy's extraordinary wartime achievements, allowing audiences to witness the harrowing realities of World War II through the eyes of a true American hero. As we bid adieu to this cinematic journey through the riveting tale of To Hell and Back, I implore you to take a moment to reflect. The year was 1955, and this film carved its indelible mark into the annals of cinematic history. 
a true testament to the valor and resilience of Audie Murphy, the most decorated combat soldier of World War II. It transcends time, evoking emotions that resonate with audiences to this day. Perhaps, as you've journeyed through this movie, you've found yourself connecting with the indomitable spirit of Audie Murphy, his courage in the face of adversity, and the unwavering dedication to his comrades. Maybe it brought forth memories of loved ones who served, or stirred thoughts about the sacrifices made during wartime. Whatever it may be, we invite you to share your cherished reflections, your fondest memories, and your deepest thoughts onto hell and back. In this age of connectivity, let's unite through the power of storytelling. Share your personal connection with this film, and together, let's honor the legacy of Audie Murphy and all those who served with valor and honor. Your voice adds depth to the rich tapestry of this cinematic masterpiece. We extend our heartfelt gratitude for your time and interest in this journey through time. Your presence has enriched this experience, and we look forward to hearing your stories and thoughts. Until we meet again, keep the spirit of Audie Murphy alive, for his bravery continues to inspire generations. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic adventure.